Good evening, everyone. This is Monday Update, your favorite news ever. Best ever news. I don't know, I didn't rehearse that part. I'm your host, Jake Biza. And I'm Emma Lilly. On tonight's news, Paul McCartney released a new book titled, The Lyrics. Uh, or as some have been calling it, I squandered all my money in the 60s and 70s on drugs, and I'm desperate for more. Speaking of books, Featured in a new book called Landslide by Michael Wolff, Donald Trump announced he is developing his own political party, the Trumple Puffs. <laughs> a recent poll was taken judging the scariest Halloween costumes this year. The winner? Gas prices. <laughs> Mandel suffered a medical incident at Starbucks this week, raising the question, who cares? <laughs> NYC native Pete Davidson was spotted dating someone new this week, uh, a West Palm Beach local. What? <laughs> Good for you, Emma, right after King K, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. McDonough? So, is it? Yeah. No, it's it's me, yeah. Uh, just this weekend, Taylor Swift re-released an album with 30 tracks. I know, I right? yeah. love Taylor Swift. And as you can assume, what it was all written about, right? Yeah, your mom. Yeah. McDonald's revealed one of their deepest secrets this week. In an article called, What the Heck is Grimace Anyway? The manager's answer? The stuff they make the chicken nuggets out of. Awesome. Yeah. You'll notice some of the Mr. Kanye rejects here on the scene. Oh! Yeah. Yeah, tough. They are both on the cast of MNL, so as soon as they lost, we fired them and hired the winner and runner up of Mr. Charmy. Unfortunately, yeah! such a short notice, they couldn't get here in time, but we'll get them. Yeah, I think these new guys are a little cuter, huh? Get it up for those guys. Yeah, nice. Okay. This upcoming season of Cured Turkeys, Big Bird recently tweeted that he got the vaccine. Yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to celebrate the one and a half year anniversary of President Schwinn in office, we finally held the inauguration. We are also telling this joke a month and a half. Yeah, it's fitting. This week in California, tickets sold out to see the Amorphophallus Titanum Plant Bloom. Guys, I said that the best just now. Just now, that was great. Uh, it only blooms for 48 hours and smells like, quote, rotting flesh. For a similar attraction in Florida, visit the Wanberg dorms for free. <laughs> recently banned Elf on the Shelf to give parents a break during this holiday season. It's been a rough year. And now with someone who also can't seem to catch a break, here's Anthony, the unemployed Elf on the Shelf. <laughs> give it up for Anthony, come on! <laughs> so Anthony, can I call you Tony? Yeah, yeah, sure. Sweet Tony. How's this holiday season treating you? Yeah. So how's the job hunt treating you now? Let me tell you something, Jake. The unemployment? Well, I never thought it'd hit me like this. One minute, you're doing your observations for sale. Next one, you're in the can. And I mean the actual garbage can. Be revoked by half. Hey, speaking of garbage, though, what's up with this crowd tonight? Ah. <laughs> wow. I'm sorry to hear that, Tony. Uh, got any plans for the holidays? Do I ever? Toys for Tots down the street. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Uh, what do you do there? Well, it's really more of a business endeavor. I'm stealing the toys and upselling them on Christmas Eve. Well, yeah, I, I got those parents' wallets by the chestnuts. <laughs> oh, that is not very holly jolly of you. Oh, please, holly jolly. Santa's workshop isn't very holly jolly this time of year. That place is a sweatshop. We get paid in candy canes and they take real money in the North Pole. So yeah, yeah, I can trade six candy canes for a pack of smokes if I wanted to. You know what? I'm kind of 
kidding why you got fired. You're nothing like Buddy. Hey, come on. That, that movie's, oh, that movie's full of inaccuracies. It's cultural appropriation. Elves are nothing like that. We don't like oh them at all. Oh my gosh, there you are. Oh, no, hey, you can't do this to me. Hey, hold me back. Hold me on free Britney. On free Britney. Girls Lacrosse is seeing a decline in attendance as more people realize it's just lacrosse played by women. No comment. No comment for me on that one. Jack's Coffee has seen a huge boom in business as more and more students go and fill out surveys for stats classes. Speaking of which, I have sent all of you an email about the connection between attending m &L and your parents' likelihood of being proud of you. But you guys are fine. You're all here. It's the other people. Yeah. They're not okay. <laughs> Florida has recently been reporting some of the lowest COVID-19 numbers in the country. In other news, PBA has also reported to their donors uh, about their totally straight student body. <laughs> so many students have realized they've used all of their flex bucks after buying only half a pack of gum for $12.99. What a steal! Oh, that is a, that's a lot of money for gum. Okay, never mind. A woman in Wellington went and stole $1,200 worth of perfume and cologne. We can only hope that she drops them off at Stinker Rinker. Oh, come on. Yeah. Okay, that's all we have for you with the Monday update. I'm Jake Biza. And